Before we begin programming our first JSP app, let's talk a little bit about the history and why we should learn this. A Java server page, or JSP, is a technology that was developed many years ago, and it is a combination of HTML and some Java code on the same page. If you've worked with PHP or ASP, you recognize the pattern by embedding language changes inside of HTML. So here's an example of some coding. You can see that this is a web page. It's mostly HTML, but there are certain places where you can see these tags that begin and end the Java code that is embedded in the page. This is JSP. You'll see that there are different kinds of beginning and end tags, and so we'll see this difference here, one with a percent equal sign versus just the regular percent sign. And so that'll become evident in our example. So the history of Java in enterprise format comes back to 1999 when uh, the uh, version called uh, J2EE or J2EEE is uh, beginning with the idea of servlets and JSP. And so we begin to create a more enterprise version of Java programming. And so the 2001 was an update to version 1.3 and we introduce things called Enterprise Java Beans, which we'll see. We also come to 2003 for the next upgrade, version 1.4, and we see what's called uh, JSF, and we'll be using that in some of our tutorials. In 2006, we get a version 5 upgrade. The name changes now because there's new competition around called the Spring Framework, which has probably become more popular today than the original Enterprise Java. In 2009, we get version 6, and so they start to delete some of the older, non-used APIs, and that's a process they call pruning. Context dependency injection was introduced, which is a very similar way just to including objects in your code from other classes. We do importing, but instead of importing them at compile time, we do them at runtime. We'll see some bean validation and managed beans, so all of these things that are new in this version will be in our tutorial. So version 7, we get a few things with JSON uh, formatted data and concurrency for multi-threaded programs. 2013 we have Java 8 and we're starting to get into the cloud computing phase of things. And so that's a little bit of history here. But the idea that we're going to see here with Java server pages in our first tutorial brings us back to the fundamental and first use of Java as a dynamic web programming language.